Hey, beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Alexis. I did change my name on YouTube. If y'all didn't notice, it's no longer Lexi Kara. It is now Alexis Takira. So if you want to find some videos, if you don't feel like subscribing, which I hope you do, but if you don't feel like subscribing and you want to come back just to look at some more videos, just type in Alexis Takira and you will find me. Okay, so... I'm so thankful that y'all clicked on my video. If you're here for the reason I think you're here, then y'all make sure y'all stay until the end. So for today's video, I'm basically reviewing the KVD, not Kat Von D, because y'all know, y'all know that this association is hard, okay? But we're trying the KVD Good Apple Lightweight Concealer. It is an extension of the Good Apple Foundation Balm that they came out with, I believe, last year. I did have it, but I had the wrong shade, and it just, once I realized that I just didn't like the formula, I just didn't feel the need to go back to get the correct shade. So, I ended up getting the concealer that they just came out with. Now, a few claims, it's supposed to be lightweight, full coverage, lightweight, full coverage concealer, and it comes in 32 shades, and it's 28 Zoilas. Okay, I just purchased mine today and I was so excited to go ahead and get this review done for y'all. So I already prepped my skin. I already have on my foundation today. I'm wearing the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in the shade Cream Caramel. Everything that I use will be linked below. I'm just going to show y'all the concealer and we're going to keep it moving. So yeah, <laughs> let's do this. And it may look like the foundation don't match, but I promise y'all, if y'all watch my other video, I'll link it below. If y'all watch my other video, all the lights that's on me right now is making it look, making my face look more golden. Yeah, I just had to look at myself. <laughs> it's making me look more golden in the face, but I promise y'all, <sighs> I just took pictures in this foundation like two days ago and the Instagram pictures was lit. So yeah, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into the review, y'all. So like I said, I already did my foundation so let's just see what this looks like i have mine in the shade tan 161 and they have it matched up kind of like uh fancy beauty did where it's like depending on the foundation shade that you use they'll have it matched up with the concealer this is the packaging it's really it's subtle like it's cute though i like this like i don't know i like it Make me want to use it. And it has this little thing kind of like it remind you of Rare Beauty. But except hers is a bit, ouch, it's kind of hard to open. But kind of remind me of the whole thing with Rare Beauty, how she used the little ball at the top for people with arthritis. So I think that's pretty cool. And this is described as a warm undertone. Now, I usually try to go with concealers that have the warm or neutral undertone because it mimics the hues in my face. So that's a good tip, important tip that y'all should always follow. If you have like a warm undertone, do not go in the store and pick up a concealer with a cool pink undertone because it just is not going to flow well together. So yeah. Now let's just apply it. Ooh. Immediately I can tell that it's just like so creamy. And I like the applicator. It's kind of like um, the way it's shaped and everything. It's like flat where you apply it and it's at an angle. Kind of remind you of the Rare Beauty uh, foundation brush, the way it's shaped. And I like the warmth to it. Like it has a nice yellow undertone to it. I really like that. Now, because I don't know how this concealer really works yet. Oh, it's kind of tingling. Ugh, is it supposed to do that? It's kind of tingling right now. Like, I don't like that. It's making it feel like it's like this burning sensation. I don't really know if it's supposed to be doing that. Is it, am I having some type of reaction? But it's kind of tingly right now. I like that. It's, it's, I wouldn't say it's full coverage. 
I wouldn't call it full co I wouldn't call it full coverage, but I'm not somebody who needs full coverage. Um, I don't think anybody does, just to put that out there. But because I don't have like heavy creases or bags underneath my eye, I'm not somebody who really need a full coverage, but it's definitely given medium. I would definitely say it's medium, but the way it it just looks so smooth. It kind of reminds you of the foundation because It's just so smooth looking, like a filter. I don't know what word I'm looking for, but it's so like, it like side by side, this half compared to this half. See how you can see like pores and stuff over here because I do have oily skin. So I do have visible pores on this side of my face, but look at this compared to this. Y'all can't tell me. Listen. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Do it to this side. Let's see if it has that tingling effect that it had on the other side. Because maybe I'm just having like some type of something going on with this eye over here. My eye was uh, itching <laughs> yesterday though. So I don't really know. Oh my gosh, do y'all see that blend? I already feel like this is about to be one of my favorite concealers because, oh my gosh, like, I wish I could zoom in for y'all. But I'm using my phone, so I have a new camera coming. Um, I ordered a new camera. I have it coming sometime this week, supposed to be, so... I had to get a new camera. So right now we're using the phone, so you may not see the full effect, but oh my gosh. Wow, that is beautiful. I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna go in with one more because I really like it. If for some reason I'm just having fun blending it out. <laughs> just to be real. <laughs> I just want to blend it out again. Because it blended out so good. Like it's so creamy. And it's like a, a cushion type feel. Like I can't explain it. But uh, it just blended out so freaking good. I'm serious y'all. I feel like this is about to replace my... Um, I feel like this is about to replace... My hourglass, and y'all know how much I love my hourglass vanish concealer. Oh my gosh. Y'all know how much I love that. And my L'Oreal Infallible. Not L'Oreal. Um, what is it? Is it L'Oreal? My cover girl. I feel like it's going to outdo my cover girl. And I never bring my concealer down this far, but not down to my cheek area right here. But I'm going to do it today so I can see just how good it can cover my pores. So that'll be a true test. Okay, so, so far, I'm really liking the way it blended out. It blended out so good. Um, I'm going to make sure I look up the ingredients because it's like it's something in this formula that's making it so... I don't even know what word to use. But it's just so... It's so like creamy, but it's almost like a velvety finish. Like I can't even... Is this... Is this described as a velvet finish? Because what the freak, man? For under eyes and beyond, crease resistant, no cake, full coverage infused with apple extract to help nourish skin. I guess it's just the same thing as the um good apple foundation, that apple extract, because this stuff is blending out so good. Like I just want to keep adding more and more, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that. 
so what i'm gonna do basically is just go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and yeah i'll come back when everything is complete and then we're gonna close out the video um before i do that though if y'all not subscribed make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because i don't want y'all to forget and i want y'all using it as an excuse to why you didn't subscribe so i want you to go ahead and do that okay so let me finish the rest of my makeup and then i'll come back to y'all and we're gonna see how this going all right y'all so i'm back and She looks good, <laughs> in my opinion, in my humble opinion. So, um, yeah, y'all, I like this. This is the most, I honestly have to say, this is one of the best looks I feel like I've ever done on my channel, just because today I use different products. I usually go in with my Fenty Beauty contour, well, matchstick in the shade Truffle, but, um, Today, I decided to go in with ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer for my contour. It's so subtle, and I just love the way everything just look, you know, like it come together. So, like I said, y'all, I'm honestly thinking that the KVD Good Apple Concealer is probably gone. I want to say she going to replace. I want to say she going to replace my hourglass i won't say she's gonna replace my hourglass but she's in the running like you know like running tight race <laughs> that's what we gonna say she doing because i love the way my makeup turned out today i love the undertone of the concealer it gave me that perfect amount of warmth that i usually go for when using concealer and i just really like the way this turned out y'all like i can't stop looking at my makeup like <laughs> i just can't stop <laughs> i'm having like a moment today and i'm loving it so yeah i feel like i'm gonna get some good pictures i feel like i'm gonna get some real good pictures today and yeah so if y'all decide to try this concealer which i think you should i highly recommend trying the concealer because it'll surprise you like it's gonna sneak up on you it's gonna surprise you a little bit <laughs> So I highly recommend y'all try the concealer if you haven't tried it. If you're thinking about getting it, if you're around my skin tone, the shade Tan 161 will be perfect for you. Like it'll be perfect if I do say so myself. <laughs> but um, yeah, overall, um, I think it looked real good. Uh, I just love the outcome of everything. I'm loving my eyebrows today. I'm loving my little swoop with my hair. I'm loving the gold accented with just everything. Like, I'm looking at myself, but, you know, I'm trying to stay focused. <laughs> so, yeah, overall, I really like this concealer. If y'all decide to give it a try, or if you want to, if it's in your car or something like that, be sure to comment on this video. Leave your thoughts. And most importantly, if you really enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go. And I see y'all beautiful people in my next video.